Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day, and everything's going to be okay. In this video, we're going to be doing the first of the animation tutorials in Dreams. Um, I Hopefully the audio in this video is going to be better. I dug out my old earbud microphone, which allows me to turn it off whenever I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to talk for the intro and outro and maybe if something important comes up I'll turn it on during the tutorial. But most of the tutorial I'm going to have the mic off so that there's no background noise and there's no echo for the tutorial voice. However, the tutorial voice is very, very quiet and like I said there's no way for me to turn up game volume for the video. There's just no option for it in Dreams. I'll show you. You can go to Preferences, but there's just Display, Prompts, Accessibility, um, Controls, Social, and things like that, but there's no volume. So I can't turn up the game volume. So the the Tutorial voice is going to be very low, so you're going to have to turn your volume way up. But since my volume will be off, I'm not going to blast your eardrums. Uh, except if I pause, if I pause the tutorial video, that will be a warning that I'm about to turn my mic back on, and so you'll need to turn your volume way down to keep me from blasting your eardrums. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off my mic and start the tutorial and hopefully I won't need to turn on my mic during the tutorial but I'll be back um, at the end of the tutorial. Of course I'll be following along and doing the tutorial, I just won't be commentating during it. So here I go. these platforms so she can rescue Cuthbert. So how about we add a little handmade animation to get her there? You don't need to go into play mode to see that Connie won't be able to make this jump. So let's animate that floating ledge down to her using an action recorder. Action recorders are super easy to use. Just stamp one in your scene and it will record anything you move with the imp. And we mean anything. It'll even record you moving or tweaking gadgets. We'd better get going. Connie's getting really impatient. You know what cones are like. Go to the assembly menu. Press a square button if it's not already open. Then head to the animate menu. The animate icon is a clapperboard. That thing they use in movies before the director says action. Now you get to be the director and you can use these tools and gadgets to animate objects. Select the action recorder, the icon with a film strip and a plus sign on it. You'll now have an action recorder gadget on your imp. Stamp it down, somewhere near the floating ledge. A progress bar will appear at the top of the screen along with a record button on the right. Also, your imp will turn red. This means you're ready to start recording. Don't worry, recording won't start until you begin moving or changing things. When you're ready, grab the floating ledge with R2. Move it slowly towards Connie using the motion sensor function or the sticks. You'll notice that the bar starts to fill recording your every move. Don't worry, it's not a time limit. The bar fills up as a visual indicator of something being recorded, so take your time. When you let go of R2, the recording will pause. 
If you move your view or use the grab cam, that won't be recorded. But if you've started time with R3, recording will continue when you let go of R2. That's why it's important to rewind or pause time before recording anything. That way, your action recorder only contains what you put into it. When you've finished recording, select the stop recording button in the context menu. Or you can use the shortcut L1 and circle button to exit the action recorder. Your imp will go back to normal to show that recording has... Or you can use the shortcut that way, your action recorder only contains what you put into it. Recording will continue when you let go of R2. That's why it's important to rewind or pause time before recording anything. That way, your action recorder only contains what you put into it. When you've finished recording, select the stop recording button in the context menu. Or you can use the shortcut L1 and circle button to exit the action recorder. Your imp will go back to normal to show that recording has stopped. Click R3 to play back your animation. Handmade animations are always a bit wobbly, but practice makes perfect. Calibrating your imp can help when using the motion sensor function. Just hold your controller in a comfortable position, then hold the options button for a few seconds. In the next step, I'll show you how to edit a recorded animation. Anything you record is stored in the Action Recorder gadget. If you hover over the floating ledge, the Action Recorder will pulse. Select the Action Recorder with X and dashed lines will appear on the objects animated with it. It'll also show the animation path, that's this dashed line. If you're not happy with your animation, redoing it is easy. First. Rewind time with L3. Then hover over the Action Recorder gadget, hold L1 and press X. Doing it is easy. First, rewind time with L3. Then hover over the Action Recorder gadget, hold L1 and press X. Now we can start recording again. Select the retake button in the context menu to replace the old animation. Now you can record a new one. Move the platform so it stops in front of Connie. You can undo actions you perform using the left directional button. But it won't undo any time that has passed. so it's better to use the retake button to undo animations. Move the floating ledge from the upper platform down to Connie. Don't worry if the animation's too slow or too fast. We can fix that later. Make sure you press the stop recording button when you're done. Spend a little time practicing with the action recorder. In the next step, I'll show you how to tweak your animation. Another way to edit animations is to tweak them. Hold L1 and press the square button over the Action Recorder gadget to open its tweak menu. Here you can see all the tweaks for the action recorder.
by default, the what set to loop menu. Another way to edit animations is to tweak them. Hold L1 and press the square button over the action recorder gadget to open its tweak menu. Here you can see all the tweaks for the action recorder. By default, the playback mode is set to loop, so it plays the animation over and over again. But you can set them to play once, sustain, or to ping pong. Once will play the whole animation just one time. Sustain will play the animation for as long as the action recorder has power. If it loses power, it will stop, then it will continue from that point when it's powered again. Ping Pong plays the animation forward once, and then plays it in reverse, then forward, then backwards, and so on. That sounds like a good option for our floating ledge. Select Ping Pong with X. Click R3 to start time and play the animation. You can also change the animation speed to make it slower or faster. Grab the slider with X and use your imp to change the speed. If you want to explore more of the action recorder tweaks, you can. You can also change the animation speed to make it slower or faster. Grab the slider with X and use your imp to change the speed. If you want to explore more of the action recorder tweaks, you can. If you hover over any button for a few seconds, a more info tip will explain what that tweak does. To close the tweak menu, just hold L1 and press the circle button anywhere over it. And of course, you can undo any changes you make by pressing the left directional button. Switch to play mode to test your changes. When you're ready, come back to edit mode and start the next step. Now that Connie's made it up to the higher platform, how will she get back down to the next one? First, rewind time with L3. You probably already know about cloning objects, but do you know that you can clone their animations along with them? I'm sure you remember how to clone, but if not, just hold L1 and grab the ledge you animated with R2. Once you've made the clone, release L1 then move the ledge to the other side and release R2 to place it. Not only did you clone the ledge, but you also cloned its animation. Click R3 to start time. Now we just need to flip it so that it moves in the correct direction. First, make sure you rewind time. Grab the platform with R2. Then click L3 to flip it horizontally. Depending on where you grabbed it, you might have to move it closer to the other platform after flipping. You may also need to realign it with triangle before releasing R2 to put it back down. Now click R3 to start time and the platform should move in opposite directions. Both animations are stored in the same action recorder. So if you retake or delete the action recorder, it will affect both animations. Now go into play mode and see if Connie can make it across both gaps. Switch back to edit mode when you're ready to move on.
Now let's get Connie to Cuthbert and get them through the door before Cuthbert has a total meltdown. I've placed a shiny helper cube. Let's call it Cuthbot. That holds up the next platform, but it's not very animated at the moment. To get it to walk back and forth towards the exit, we need to use Record Possession. It allows you to possess puppets and record a performance with them. Open the assembly menu, then go to the animate menu. Select record possession. It's the button with the sock puppet icon. Your imp can now possess the puppets in the scene. In the context menu, you'll see the count in button. When this is selected, you'll get a three second count in before recording starts. Press R2 over the cuffbot to possess the puppet and start the countdown. When the count reaches zero, the possession recorder begins recording. Unlike the action recorder, it records constantly. So time will be recorded even when the cube isn't moving. Walk the cuffbot around the obstacles to the final platform. Pause for a moment, turn around, then walk back to where the cuffbot started. Starting and ending at the same place will help to make the animation loop smoothly. Press the circle button to depossess. You'll notice that the recording pauses when you depossess. Select Stop Recording in the context menu to exit the possession recorder. Once you've stopped recording, click L3 to rewind time, then R3 to start time and watch what you've recorded. In the last step, I'll show you how to edit the recorded possession. You may have noticed a possession recorder gadget has appeared next to the cuffbot. When you're using record possession, this gadget appears the moment you press the stop recording button. Select it with X to view the animation path. The possession recorder gadget also lets you edit and tweak the animation. Hold L1 and press X over the possession recorder to scope in and edit it. Just like the action recorder, you can choose to retake the animation by selecting the button in the context menu. To stop editing the possession recorder, select stop recording in the context menu. Or hold L1 and press the circle button to quickly scope out. You can also tweak the possession recorder with L1 and the square button. It has exactly the same options as the action recorder. Experiment with the recorder and the different tweak options. Remember, you can see more info about the tweak settings by hovering over them for a few seconds. Close the tweak menu by pressing L1 and the circle button anywhere over it. Once remember, you can see the same options as the action recorder. Pow. You can also tweak the possession recorder with L1 and the square button. It has exactly the same options as the action recorder. Experiment with the recorder and the different tweak options. Remember, you can see more info about the tweak settings by hovering over them for a few seconds. Close the tweak menu by pressing L1 and the circle button anywhere over it. Once you're done editing, switch over to play mode to test out the completed scene. Then Connie can navigate to the last platform and help Cuthbert through the door to complete the tutorial.
Hello. I don't want to blow out your eardrums. Make sure you turn down your volume. I'm about to start talking louder. Okay, so that was really cool. I'm really excited about the animations. The animations are a lot easier to program than the logic. I need to reprogram this a little better. See if I can get this right. Okay. All right, let's see if that works. Thing I'm really excited to learn is character logic. Like how can you program enemies in the game? We'll get to that later. I'm sure it's going to be really complicated, but I definitely want to know how to do that so that I can add enemies into my games. Yay, we did it. All right, so this has been the first animation tutorial. I hope my audio changes made the video a bit more pleasant, um, although you do have to change your volume. I'm gonna try doing it this way. Hopefully it'll work better. Um, but that's the end of this video. I have been Mac. Thank you for joining me for a day. And remember, everything is going to be okay.